So, uh, how Lukas is starting? Uh, good, <laughs> good morning and good evening. For me, it's evening. For you, it's morning. So, um, yeah, we are here to discuss uh, some stuff in search engine uh, channel, and uh, yeah, have some interesting progress. So, first of all, I want to share uh, DataVerse with you and show something. Uh, let me figure out how to do that. Uh, Okay. Seems to be shared now. Is my screen shared now? It is, it is shared, yeah. Okay, good. So look, uh, this is our dataverse, and we are continuously crawling some COVID-19 data sets. And you can see that we have more than 2,000 and uh, yeah, 600 data sets and 90,000 uh, of files. And those files mostly in, in like in private mode, so they're not exposed because we're only publishing data sets and files if we are sure that there are no like private information, no uh, names of people. Uh, so we can only get like, like uh, aggregated uh, uh, data exposed on our portal. So our next task actually is to build a kind of a classifier that can check what is inside of data sets. And uh, we need uh, also to verify all variables and uh, we need uh, to classify uh, all columns from all files and actually our group tasks uh, should provide all their own uh, uh, entities that will be applied for classification. So um, I know this this is quite ambitious tasks. Uh, ta uh, so I, I started to work on notebook and uh, using this notebook. Um, can you see my my notebook now? Yes. Yeah, so basically uh, this notebook provides like, like pandas access to all information that we have in Dataverse. So uh, this is one of data sets and it has these files and these are uh, metadata that you can get in, in uh, data frame is it. So for example, uh, this is like description and there are some tags and uh, some technical information. So it's quite, uh, I would say it's quite enough information to uh, start to classify things and uh, we just need to build pipeline. So we'll reuse some stuff that uh, Lucas already provided for us. And uh, uh, we need actually to get all metadata for all data sets in, in, uh, in own data set. So, I'm asking you guys if you're interested to join this task and uh, uh, yeah, so if you have some creative ideas how we can do that. Because look, uh, all, all information, so basically if I'll go back to Dataverse, all information from this website is exposed as pandas data frame. You can get uh, kind of uh, sub data verses uh, with all data sets linked, uh, you can get uh, all data sets, uh, metadata in pandas. You can get names of people that uh, collected things. So all this information uh, can be used actually in a classification algorithm. So what do you think? So I wouldn't call it like one task. I would call it like, here is the sandbox and do it like it's free for all type of creative process over here. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so basically- would you, would you talk through with the class fair what, what exactly you're looking for again? I'm still just trying to- um, kind of Okay, so look, uh, yeah, do you see we have a lot of files and what I want mm -hmm. to understand, uh, if there are 90,000 of files, um, how we can actually filter out uh, all files related to, let's say, task risk and provide uh, those data sets to a team of Maya. This is my idea. Action. 
Gotcha. So is okay. And basically, they already have uh, all entities, and uh, they already uh, they did a great job to collect uh, and create model. So I think we just need to reuse uh, their model to uh, do classification of data sets. So first it was based on, on papers, and now we'll get data sets. And uh, my bet that after some, some time, we'll be able actually to match uh, papers with data sets. So we can enrich uh, papers with, with like live data published somewhere. Doesn't matter if it's GitHub or somewhere in the web. And uh, we can also uh, provide this new data to teams that working on it. Gotcha. So, uh, Kevin, I think you, you work with Maya, right? Uh, yes, I have. So what do you see, uh, what do you think about possibility to reuse uh, all data and all models that you already created for this kind of uh, tasks? I mean, it's possible. I think that we just need to readjust, uh, like all. Um, I think if that was the case, I think the easy, like the best way of like, for sure is just to get Michael on board. Cause Michael's the one that, I think Curly's made most of the um, models for risk, I think, but he's made it. So he, I don't think he's, I need to check his, the, his notebook to see whether or not he's, he's kept everything mm -hmm. because he might have just updated the same like notebook. So it, it pretty much is only like for the current version. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, I'll ask him and see, see like what he has currently and see if we can get all, all available versions he has. Um, but that's at least the current state of it. It's just okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So um, how, um, if I will deliver all metadata from Dataverse in, in, as one data set, JSON file. Uh, can you think how you can actually reuse, uh, yeah, the same process basically? So you will get in Dataverse, you will get just separate data set, this uh, separate file, and this file will contain all metadata extracted from Dataverse for all data files, for all data sets, uh, for all names and variables, and this kind of stuff, right? So is it difficult to integrate or you, you need to ask Michael again? Uh, I think, I think I, it, I, I, it, it wouldn't be difficult to say it to be, I think, yeah, I think it's kind of difficult. I think, cause I, no, I, I don't know exactly sure how Michael would ever would use that data itself. I think he'd use it, but I don't know exactly to what, to what extent. Um, mm -hmm. Uh, I think that point, would, as, as, as Anton said, it'd be a sandbox where you just kind of, you have, we'd definitely like have to see what, you know, what we'd use and what we wouldn't, we, just, we wouldn't know if we just gained this huge amount of, you know, metadata and what we'd do with it. Um, mm -hmm. uh, so like, it would definitely some take some time to just, just to piece together what is in there and what's useful, not useful. Um, but mm -hmm. I'm not, don't, I don't know how, how long that will take, uh, um, uh, beyond that. Okay, and uh, I think it's quite uh, urgent task for us because uh, look, I, I just logged out, and uh, so in public part we have only 420 data sets, but also quite a lot of files, almost uh, 20,000. So if you go inside of every file, you can see there is a list of all variables. So I'm pretty sure that if we'll do some some kind of clustering first, so we can kind of, uh, you know, clusterize uh, all uh, similar files based on their variables. And probably after we'll get this information, we can try to connect to you guys uh, and uh, to see if we can actually uh, match these uh, court 19 uh, papers. So, yeah, this the idea. And of course, after we, we need to figure out uh, if some files contain uh, tweets, for example, or mm, names, because it's not allowed to publish personal information in this kind of data sets. 
So we also need to extend this classificator with GDPR compliance. So of course it's another task and uh, probably it can be interesting for someone else to take this, and to start to work. I don't know. The, the so, uh, yeah. I have, I have a quick suggestion because I think a lot of people would get like, you know, tripped over the fact that for example, the pipeline that Task Risk has to filter out COVID-19 data, mm -hmm. it, it was for one type of data. And now we're kind of like, oh, here is just another bunch of metadata that who knows what data schema it follows, et cetera, et cetera. Mm -hmm. So I would suggest for people to kind of uh, abstract away the fact that right now, obviously the data, like there are no like easy way to interface between all of this. But conceptually, it's all the same. The same thing you have metadata that CSV for COVID 19 data set, which is just a huge collection of JSON files at the end of the day, yeah. versus what we have at Dataverse with all of this different from CSV files, for essentially anything that could be imported into Pandas, right? Yeah. We, we have it on our data. I mean, imported to Pandas and related to COVID 19. So, kind of first, don't concentrate on the fact that, like, okay, how are we going to pre-process the data because it will be a separate issue. But initially right now, the idea is to focus on this. Can we kind of build this knowledge graph on top of the data, right? The same thing that people are talking about like Indra for biology stuff, yada, yada. Like, can we do something like this just on a simple level of columns from CSV files? Can you actually get meaningful connections and so on? And at least for me, when I first heard, uh, like, like we discussed with Slava a few days ago about this, for me, what helped a lot is just simply like, okay, I'm not thinking about what we actually do with the actual data. Just focus on the metadata level, right? Kind of tags. Every file has a set of tags associated to it. And like what type of things we can connect together. And that's why, again, TaskRis is a good example because uh, like I remember that great visual of cloud of words related to risk factors and set yeah. of papers, etc. So in a sense, this kind of fluid, flexible way, framework of thinking, it's not like direct links, it's just simply this associations. Helped me a lot to kind of think like, wait a second, we could actually build this and immediately, uh, for example, like uh, for different use cases, you can generate classical machine learning problem. For example, here, here is a example of user story. So let's say I, I, I get on our dataverse and I found specific data set that I like. I download it, start processing it for something. So it's kind of like I, I, I watched a movie on Netflix, right? And the moment I watched one movie, the Netflix will suggest me a huge list of other movies to watch that I'll probably enjoy. So we want to have similar system on top of our dataverse. If I download a specific data set, probably I like, I like it, like this is the data set for my research. So I would love to see similar data set as well. And right now there are no tools for, for that. So again, just yet another example of, of what we can build on top of all of this. So again, sky's the limit in terms of creativity. Yeah, and uh, I really, uh, I really think that uh, task risk already did exactly the same. So basically, they went from data to metadata layer. If you open their data sets that they already published, uh, these word clouds actually already representing the, the exactly the same information and as we have as labels in dataverse. I really believe in that. And what we need to do, we need to find some. Uh, field uh, names that uh, exposing information about names people um, people names and uh, some information about, like uh, for example twitter uh, uh, user id or twitter name so we need actually to filter out all these kind of data sets so it's i think it's all uh, that's true what you, you said anton and uh, we have kind of classical uh, machine learning task here for classification. So, um, yeah, I hope that uh, folks that will watch this video uh, after we finish, they can also come to us with some fresh ideas and uh, 
we can move on this uh, doing something practical. Sounds good. <clears throat> okay, and Dylan, for you, this task uh, makes sense, or what do you think? Uh, yeah, as, as far at least as much as it will over a phone call. You know, I'll dig into the code a little bit, and then um, it'll mm -hmm. make more sense. But yeah, I, I, I'm getting it. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll get into the code a little bit, and then I might reach out to you with some questions if I have any. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. So, guys, do you have some questions for us? Okay, no questions. So, I think we, we can finish for now, and uh, let's continue discussion on Saturday. And I really hope that Lucas will be back, and... Uh, <laughs> I'm just kind of <laughs> temporary replacement. <laughs> okay, so have a nice uh, yeah day or evening, whatever, and see you guys. Sounds good. Have a good day, everyone. Yeah, bye. Bye.